Hey y'all, earlier I went to the ladies room and closed the door and I kind of had a flashback of the Texas prison system, being incarcerated in Texas and exactly what that means when it comes to restroom etiquette. Basically, you have no privacy in prison, but the worst probably restroom experiences that I had in prison was I was in Gatesville on the Dr. Lane Murray unit and I lived in cell block housing. So what that is, it's like two stories of two man cells surrounding a day room in the center. And those cell doors are locked. An officer has to let you out for day room time. So if you're out in the day room, maybe watching a movie or playing dominoes with your friends, enjoying your free time, and you have to go to the ladies room, you can't get back in your cell. The door is locked. The officer is not gonna open it. Y'all, literally the only thing an officer has to do to open a cell door is push a button from the picket. They literally just have to reach over and push a button. You cannot get those officers to do that. They won't do it. They don't have to get up off their hiney, walk across the dorm with an old fashioned key. No, they literally just push a button, but they're not going to for you. Instead, you have to use the toilet that's basically in the middle of the dorm. <laughs> this toilet is adjacent to clear safety glass wall that the other pod is in their day room and they can all see you on the toilet your day room for your pod, all of them can see you on the toilet. What we used to do is we'd grab a friend, right? I'd say, okay, I have to go. I can't wait. And you would grab a friend and she would like stand in front of us, <laughs> right? Directly in front of us while we were on the commode. And do you know that some of the officers would get onto us for that? And they would actually make that person leave and go back to the day room area and sit down. It's really ridiculous, the complete lack of privacy, but also just the complete, the way that that just takes your humanity and your modesty, it just strips you. The prison system strips you of those things. And that's just one tiny example of that.